Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. Today, we have Ipsy. We have my original bag and my plus, so they are both from January. Let's get into them and check them out real quick. Since I have fallen behind, I'm doubling up on some of my boxes. Ipsy is one of them. First, I'll do my original bag. You guys have probably seen the bag. That is what it looks like. This is the Ipsy Original Bag. It is $13. You will have five products, deluxe samples. Sometimes you will have a full-size product. Perfect example. A brush is technically a full-size product. I think they say you'll have $50 in value with it. I love this box. People often ask me, you know, I'm thinking about getting a box for my niece or my daughter, somebody that's starting out in makeup. What's the best thing to choose? And I think this is such a great idea because you do get one choice every month. So you will have some control over what goes in your bag and you get makeup, skincare, and you get a cute little bag. I think, I mean, I still enjoy it, don't get me wrong, but I think it's also a great starter bag. Take out my paperwork because we usually do have the paperwork that tells us what we received. And January was happy vibes. That is what it looked like. Nope, not even in my original bag. Usually the original bag tells us about what we received. Well, we are fully gonna be winging this today then because knowing I was gonna make it a quick one, I didn't print out a lot of information so I would not over information you in what I hope is a quick video. We'll start with the things that we have already seen in my bag. I believe this was my choice because I will almost always choose the brush as the choice if it is a choice, but especially if it's a blending brush. I do all of my makeup application with blending brushes. This is cool. It is a just a clear looking handle just in plastic. And I don't know if this will show up on camera. I'm gonna do that. It kind of has that unicorn rainbowish tint to it. It is so cool. It is an Elaine Badro and it's just a shadow blending brush. I love them. So that's probably always going to be what I choose. I have a hair mask from Rose and Quartz. It is vegan, gluten-free, not tested on animals, 0% sulfates, sodium chloride, parabens, pegs, phthalates, dyes, or mineral oil. Well, that sounds fantastic and I do believe I will try that on my hair. I love masking my hair. Transcend dry damage and breakage to experience soft, silky shine. Refresh and rejuvenate your mind, hair, and spirit with daily to weekly treatments while meditating in aromas of rose water and sweet violet. Yeah, that sounds really good. This feels like, for my thin hair, this might be two uses. But if you have a full, nice head of hair, it's probably one use. Next, I have a Lottie London AM to PM Velvet eyeliner. I can't tell if this is black or purple. What's black? And it's not a very dark black. It's the furthest edge. I just did a boxy and I haven't cleaned that off. I'll do it in a second. But it's like a charcoal color. It doesn't have a real black feel at all. Either I will try that or I will pass it along to my dog. Wow! You guys saw I just put that on there and just went and it did not. I mean I can get it off. It's coming off but Wow, that's gonna stay, a.m. to p.m., I bet. That was on my hand for like 20 seconds I went to take it off. And it's still, <laughs> you can see, can you see the redness of my hand where I just scrubbed too hard? And yet under that, a little tauntingly, there's a thin black line. Wow, as I like to say, put it where you want it, girl, it's gonna be there a while. <laughs> Next I have an Amora Pacific the Essential Cream Fluid. I will absolutely try this if it's something I can use. It says, experience the lightweight texture and instant hydration of a fluid with the long lasting benefits of a rich cream. Apply one to two pumps after cleansing and toning. Well, let's try it on my hand. That is what it looks like when I take it out. And on the back of my hand, and it's kind of, it's not really creamy, it's mostly wet very little scent, just kind of clean, lotion-y, refreshing almost. Just that tiny little bit on the back of my hand feels really good. I think Amore Pacific is a good brand, right? I love my hand looking fantastic. The last out of my box is, oh, I'm not touching this. I think I got this last month. It is a M2U eyeshadow duo. That is what it looks like. It is in Cobble Hill. That does not sound familiar. So I don't think they got me on a technicality. I don't think I got these exact two colors last month. I will let you know here what I did receive though because I'm pretty sure I got this palette but with just slightly different colors. Okay, that was my original bag. So I got the eyeshadows, the Lottie AM to PM eyeliner, 
the lovely Elaine Badreau brush, which I love a brush, the Amour Pacific Cream Serum, and the Rose and Quartz Hair Mask for my $13. Plus the cute little bag that it comes in that's totally tie dye looking. And in the summer, this will be adorable. Let's dig into my plus. In theory, in my plus, there are five items. I made three of the choices. Let's see if I can remember which ones. I'm always torn because I, I make the choices and I'm busy choosing for two of these, sometimes two to three boxies. I'm doing FabFitFun and I'm always torn as to whether I should go back and look because part of me says, look, look up the information, know the information. And the other part of me says, isn't the surprise half the fun of the unboxing? This time we're just going with, I'm surprised. The bag is adorable. It has the same feel as the one in the original. It's just kind of tie dyed, but this is the type of bag that we get in Glam. I know some people don't like it. I have always said, I am a fan. I think chucking things in it. My mom knits, so it's kind of fun for hobbies like that. There's just, I think there are a million uses for this kind of bag versus this. Because let's be frank, I do not change my cosmetic bag in my purse very often. So I pass these along a lot to the kids and that kind of thing, but they are pretty and I have absolutely carried them. Like Valentine's, we had a couple cute Valentine's ones a year or so ago. Oh, I didn't notice on this side. I hope I can get that across. There it is. It's a happy face. How stinking cute is that? So cute. We are digging into this. It is January again. Happy vibes. No info on the inside. I, in theory, chose three of these things. They chose two. I have one I definitely did not choose. Two I think I chose. And then two left in the middle where I'm not sure which one I chose and which one they chose. So let's go with that. Let's start with the one I know they chose first. It is the Context Keratin Recovery Treatment. I struggle with this because somebody told me years ago <laughs> 20 years ago that if you over keratin your hair which is easy to do if you already have breakage which I am struggling look at this guys it's broken here can you see oh my gosh I am struggling with breakage terribly but somebody told me once if you over keratin your hair which is very easy to do it adds to the breakage because it over proteins your hair because of that, I I know that there are keratin in some products, but I don't order products that brag about their keratin. And this says, this keratin infused deep conditioning treatment is supercharged with proteins and extracts to restore moisture, strengthen, stop frizz, and reduce breakage. I know, it says all those words. If any of you out there are stylists, I would love to know your opinion of keratin and I, yeah. It is sealed, so I'm going to leave it sealed so that I can pass it along in case everybody out there is like, she led you down the garden path, you can totally use it. Okay, now I have the two that I'm not sure which one of these I chose because they're both viable. The first is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer, and it's in light medium. I would have only chosen this if like all the lights were gone, which is possible because sometimes I am really forgetful about signing on early to make my choices. So, oh yeah, no, I'm, yeah, I can't. I'm not going, can you guys tell that's gonna be too dark for me as a concealer? So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along. So I'm not sure if I chose this or not, but even if I did, it's it's too dark. I mean, it, <laughs> like I'm showing my teeth, like I'm gonna put it on my teeth. Oh my goodness, that is what it looks like. I have this in two colors. I use it every day. I actually just added to my empties pile. I have a Huda under eye that I just thought I would love, but it dries down so quickly that, and it leaves my, you know, I'm in my fifties. It leaves my fine lines under my eyes. I think it exacerbates them more than most concealers. So anyway, point being, I have this in two different colors that I like. I will pass this one along. The other one where I'm not sure if I chose it and I wasn't even sure. I opened this in a box the other day, maybe a glossy or my look fantastic. And it is the Polar Eternal Snow. And I wasn't sure if it was for face or body, if it was full sized. 
I think the full-sized one, which this may be, it was 50 mLs, I think, because when I went to look it up, yes, 50 mLs, I think it was like $51. So this more than covers the cost of the box. Did I tell you that the X Plus is a $28 box and you will get over $120 worth of value and five items, three are choice. This is more than $50 in value. So it covers the cost of the box. And I'm gonna try the smaller one first in case there's a problem, let me make sure it's sealed. I wanna be able to pass it along, yes. But when I got on, <laughs> when I got on the website to read about it, it sounded really good and like it was for sensitive skin. So I have a little, just a tiny bit of La La Retro that I'm finishing up and then I'm gonna try this. It says, it's snow-like texture melts upon contact with the skin. Hydrated, it gets back its firmness and elasticity. Fine lines decrease, ruddiness and imperfections disappear and let a bright, perfect, and young complexion show up. Apply daily to the face and neck. And when I went to their website, like I said, I went to the Polar website to look up the information for the other box. It it, it sounded fantastic. So I, I don't know whether that was my choice, but I'm very happy to have it. Okay, these two, I feel pretty confident I chose brushes. You guys know, it doesn't matter the brand, I chose them. These were Hip Dot, and I have never had Hip Dot, and they are eyeshadow brushes, and as I said earlier in the video, I cannot pass up a blending brush. These handles are so pretty. They're kind of rose gold bronzy looking, and they go from the dark, how am I holding that, down to a pretty, pretty rose gold look. I like them. They're kind of soft, but have just enough firmness. I will definitely be trying these. So they're so pretty. And we have a, they call it a cut crease brush. This is the one, it's perfectly round. This is the one that I always call a blending brush. So, but I have said a million times, it's, it's fairly obvious by looking at me. I am not a makeup artist, but this is the all over brush, which is the same thing, except for it's slightly flattened. We have a smudger. Obvious to tell, it's nice, short, short, short and stocky. And then they call this one the blending brush. I, I mean, it's fluffy that way, but it's flat that way. And I don't think of a blending brush as flat. So like I said, I'm sure it's me and my misconceptions and what I personally have decided to name brushes, but I had never tried Hip Top, so I wanted to try them. These are so pretty, I will absolutely give them a try. And last out, we have Contently California Nourishing Scalp Care After All Scalp Soothing Care Treatment. And it says, after all, scalp soothing care treatment is a scalp tonic that transforms an irritated scalp into a healthier scalp by immediately providing a cooling and soothing sensation. Oh, I didn't get this for me. I got it for my husband. It's like, I don't have an irritated scalp. Contains a probiotics complex that helps create a healthy pH balanced scalp environment. Spray a moderate amount directly onto the scalp, then massage the treatment throughout. I remember that now. I also remember, I thought about it for me because it talked about, at some point, it talked about thinning hair but it had licorice root in it. Oh, it looks like one of the medicine ones. Like, what is that called? Minoxidil or is that what that is? Yeah, it looks kind of like that. So that is what that is. And like I said, I picked this one up for my hubs. Oh, I didn't have prices for you. I will hopefully have remembered to let you know prices when I edit it. And I'm sure that this more than covers the $28 cost of the box. We have the Keratin Recovery Treatment, the Dose of Color Concealer, which I give two thumbs up. Like I said, I own it in two colors that I use. We have the Polar Eternal Snow, which I am absolutely, I have the smaller one. I'm gonna try that. And if I love it, I'm gonna be so happy to have that. The Hip Dot Brushes and the Contently California Scalp Soothing Treatment. So this is the value of my $28 Glam Bag Plus. How'd I do? Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you taking the time to stay with me. I hope I zipped through these quickly, but not too quickly because those were my January Glam Bags. All right, have a great day. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out and I will see you really soon. Take care.